guys so in today's tutorial I'm gonna be doing a full face of just one makeup brand and I'm gonna be doing elf just because it's the most inexpensive out there and I figured why not start out with that one you know so you guys leave down on the bottom bars like what you guys want to see next or what brand you guys want to see next and I would love to do it and I figured I would also do elf because I think I have the most products from elf I don't think I have products of every category from every brand yet. The things I'm using is the Cruella DeVille lookbook. It has some really nice colors and all, and then it has a lip product, it has an eye primer, mascara, eyeliner. So I figured I would go with that one. And then I also have the concealer, and I could, I didn't have a foundation. I thought I had one, but I don't know. I guess I threw it away because it didn't work or something. But I have the clarifying pressed powder and the concealer that I will be using. And then I have two brushes, the foundation brush and then the just eyeshadow brush that it came with originally. So to start off, I'm going to begin by priming my eyelids. You know, I really do like the e.l.f. primer. I've never used it in the lookbooks, but just the regular one that costs like a dollar is like really good and inexpensive. So and I'm also just going to be taking a little bit of it and putting it under my eye. So yeah. Now I'm going to be just going into the eyeshadows. I'm also going to use some tape on the sides of my eye, a nice clean crease. And what you want to do is angle this with the end of your eye and your eyebrow. And the reason I make it so long and so that it reaches my the end of my eyebrow is so that I know where I need to stop above but also because sometimes I'll extend out my highlight and it looks bad right here. Like I don't know, it's just this is just helpful, really helpful. And I'm gonna be taking this, um, let's see, what am I gonna be taking? I'm gonna be taking this one on my eyelid. Is that or anything? And then I'm gonna be taking this little beige color into the high high point of my eyebrow, so like, or my brow bone, so like right here. Ooh, that was really powdery. I don't know if you saw that. And I have not used these colors yet, so this is all kind of new to me. I'm going with what I know. Now I'm just going to be taking that orangey reddish color and I'm going to be taking that into the crease. Just because it's springtime and I don't know, I just think it'd be prettier instead of like a really dark color. Ooh, that is really pretty. See that color is pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like a really like nice ready orangey color. Because I am going to go with a deeper brown just to kind of give it some drama. Oh god, I really love that color, guys. God, that's so pretty. I'm going with this brown. And I'm just going to deepen that right there in the outer part. Oh, there goes the school bus. Okay, so. So that's pretty much how intense I want to go with it. It's all on up to you on how intense you want to go with your eye. Like for some reason, this one looks so much more intense than this one. So let me add just a little more. <gasps> you see that? And that's exactly why I don't do it either. And because I don't really like it, but. I got it, might as well use it. Guys, if I mess this up, I'm gonna cry. Cause my eye, my eye look actually looks pretty good. easier than I thought it was gonna be so now I'm just gonna gently take this tape off okay so to diffuse a little bit of this line I'm just gonna take this brush and uh, just you know blend it out a little so, okay so I'm just gonna go in with the concealer now again I'm using the elf concealer oh this is a lot 
darker than I thought. And I'm gonna be using this kind of like all over my face because I don't have a foundation. And I have a pressed powder and pressed powders don't usually tend to cover up much. I'm also gonna run some over my lips just because the color that we have is quite intense. Okay, so I'm gonna just take the pressed powder now and press this baby up. Um, that's really dark too. Okay. And then for blush and contouring, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Blush Duo. I'm just gonna be using an, an St. Lucia and it's the contouring blush and bronzer and this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. I love this compact because it comes with like a huge mirror and the colors are just really, really nice. Like it's. It was like really pearlescent pink and then this um, bronzer that has a little bit of shimmer but it's not like overly, overly bronzy or not necessarily bronzy but like uh, glittery. Yeah, it's not glittery. It's like, it's got like a sheen but not glitter, like chocolate glitter. I don't want to apply the bronzer over the blush. And this blush is like really pretty guys. Like if you were to see it in person, you would like see how pretty it is. And then I'm gonna go into the bronzer and of course bronze my team build up. Maybe that was a little too much. Oops. And just blend it out. Blend it out. And it's picking up a little orangey on camera, but it's really not that color in person. But that's the face right there, and now I'm just gonna finish my eyes, and I'm gonna use this eyelash curler because I have no other, and I have to curl my eyelashes. They're just like the droopiest eyelashes ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl these bad boys up. And let's see how this mascara works. I hope my eyeliner doesn't come off when I curl my eyelashes, because eyeliners tend to do that. I think it did just Going in with the mascara. This is the wand that it comes with. Nothing like too dramatic or whatnot. And it is just their length and defining mascara. Never a time that I'm doing my mascara and I don't get on my freaking eyelid. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna put on this pretty, pretty, pretty like orangey lip color. It's like a nudie orange. I like that. Okay, so this is the completed look that I came up with using the Corella Deville little set thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really enjoyed making this video. I loved the outcome of it. I wasn't a big fan of the powder and whatnot, but you can't really tell on camera, so it's okay, but in person, <laughs> you know it's coming off because it looks super dark like my face looks super dark but yeah besides that everything else was pretty good I mean the pigmentation on the eyeshadows weren't all that great but that one eyeshadow that was like a little orangey I fell in love with it like if I could just like you know scrape that off and put it in a little pot I'm so gonna do that so yeah that's pretty much it and the eyeliner oh my god I love this eyeliner like I'm gonna start using it like no joke I just think it like it was really easy to use. I don't know if it was because I was using the tape or if it's just the eyeliner itself. But I'm gonna see what I can do with this eyeliner because I thought it was amazing for the first time and I didn't have any like major mess ups guys. So I'm so proud of myself. So yeah, again, don't forget to leave it in the bottom bars what brand you guys want to see next and I will do that for you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.